OK, so this video is going to show you how you can transfer photos from your iPhone or iPad to your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer using inbuilt software. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can quickly and easily transfer photos from your iPhone or your iPad direct to your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer using pre-built in software. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to plug your iPhone into the computer. Now you do that by using the cable that you would use to charge your iPhone. So what I'm going to do is I've plugged the other end into the computer. So I've plugged this end here into the computer and the other end goes into the bottom of the iPhone. OK, so I'm just going to plug the other end into the computer. Let's just do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock the phone. And on the screen, it's setting up and it says on the phone itself, do you trust this computer? Well, you must tap trust. OK, so the next thing we need to do with that plugged in, we just simply go across to the computer and we need to make sure that the phone screen stays on. So just tap the phone screen occasionally or just, you know, swipe around just to keep the phone screen livened up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to click on the start button on the computer and just type on our keyboard photos. OK, and hopefully after a few seconds under best match, we should see photos app. So all you've got to do once you see that is just click on it and not click away from it as I did. So just going to move my mouse up to it. There we go. And left click once on it. And then hopefully our photos should appear. So I'm just going to swipe on the screen just for a second, just to keep the phone screen alive. And then what I need to do is I need to go up to import just at the top there. Import left click once on that. And as you can see here, we've got connected devices, Apple iPhone. So move my mouse down to Apple iPhone and then left click once on that. Again, like I say, I'm just swiping the screen occasionally just to make sure the phone stays alive. And here we've got a couple of options. Now we can just select the new photos that haven't been transferred to the device by clicking on that. If we want to select individual photos, so say for instance, I just wanted this picture over here of this flower, I can click on the box in the top right hand corner there we go. And that just selects that. And then all I do is I just go add one item and then it asks us where do we want to save our photos to. So I'm going to save it to the pictures folder that uh, looks sensible or I can create a new folder if I want to to save it somewhere else. I can just click create folder, give it a name, but I don't want to do that. I'm just going to literally save it in the pictures folder. So just going to go there and click on import. And there we go. It says all set. It was successfully imported from Apple iPhone to pictures. Now, what I can do is I can click on all photos there and hopefully, yep, yeah, I can see the photo. It's also put it in the pictures folder. So if I go down to any yellow folder on the computer, so let's just go down to that folder there and go into pictures just there on the left. And we should see it. There it is just there in pictures and I can double click on it and that will then open up in the photos app. So what if I want to download though loads of photos all at once. So let's just go back to the photos app. So I'm just going to again click on the start button and type in photos and then click photos app just over there. And then with the iPhone still plugged in and I'm just tapping the screen or moving the screen just to keep the iPhone switched on. Go to import at the top, left click once, click on Apple iPhone or Apple iPad. And there we go. There's all our pictures there, still there. So we've got an option here 
we can just say select new and that will select all the photos that we haven't already imported. So there you go, as you can see that one there, I already imported earlier. So that's grayed out. That's basically saying, no, we don't need to re-import that one. It's already on the computer. If we re-imported it, then it would just double up. So all I do now is I just click add four items just up there in the top right hand corner. It asks us, where do we want to put it? So I'm just going to put it in the pictures folder, keep things simple and then click on import. And there we go. It says at the bottom of the screen there, all set, four items were access successfully imported from iPhone to pictures. And again, if I go to all photos here, there you go, there's my photos. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug the phone from the computer. There you go, I've unplugged that and the pictures are still there. And if I want to check where where they are on the computer, I can go into a yellow folder, like I say once again, go into pictures, and hopefully we should see them there. There they are in pictures. So there you go, that guide showed you how to transfer your photos from an iPhone. This also works on an iPad 2 in exactly the same method. I hope you like this video. And if you did, please help support this channel. If you're looking to subscribe to a VPN or you're looking for a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description down below. Buying or subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. And if this did help you also, please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Doing these things really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. Also, Whilst you're here at my YouTube channel, please stick around. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now for you, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.